also we've got one last shot of summer here on the Labor Day weekend. We're going to show you how to throw an unforgettable clam bake right in your own home. That's right. In, you know, the reason you knew it was a clam bake is because you saw the boat in the shot. There you go. Right. You know, if you have that boat over uh -huh. there, you got that boat? Oh, right there. Then you know it's... That's the giveaway. That's, that's your morning television cue. <laughs> Clam bake coming. Ooh. Very good. It'll be good. Uh -huh. You do not need a rock line pit in the sand to create the perfect clam bake. No. Chef Lawrence Edelman. You no. You don't need a beachfront Madoff house in Montauk. Well, I do need that, but apparently you don't need that for the clam <laughs> bake. Okay, all right, very good. <laughs> Lawrence Edelman is here to show us how to make one right in your very own home just mm -hmm. in time for these last few days of summer. All right, very good. Very nice. New England clam bakes are a great way to celebrate Labor Day, but you don't have to be in New England or even on a beach to make this delicacy. That's right. Here to show us how to bring this delicious seafood dish indoors is Lawrence Edelman, who is executive chef of Manhattan's Mermaid Inn restaurant. Good morning to you. Morning to you. So, how many mermaids are there? We have two, and we're opening another one uh, in about a month. Like crazy, it's going to be an oyster bar. It's going to be wild, amazing. Crazy, wild, successful mermaid place. Yeah, we're doing well. <laughs> See, really, you can tell. Wait, wait, wait. It's because it's got, so got the, the mermaid, mermaid going right there. Mermaid right there. Ah. And, uh, yeah. So you know he knows what he's... We have the mermaid on the, on the jacket. But the question is, is it tattooed on your arm? And we have the boat. That's after we open up a fourth, I'm getting a tattoo. All right. There you go. Right. Promise? And you got there the boat. There you go. All right. What are we doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make a clam bake, and uh, I've gotten all this stuff together. It's easy to do yeah. once you have everything there. You've got to have this stuff. You've got a lot of stuff have, here, though. It's a lot of different stuff. Yeah, I have okay. lobsters from Maine. Right. I have oysters from Washington and mm. New York and Connecticut. Right. Seaweed. This is really important. Okay. <laughs> I have uh, chorizo. Yeah. This chorizo. is made in Queens. Yeah. It's made in Queens. It's oh. smoked chorizo. Terrific. Yeah. Now, these lobsters, these have already passed to the lovely they have. lobster afterlife? Yeah. You <laughs> want okay. to buy them alive and make sure they're alive. They should be really spunky. Yeah. Flapping around, around all yeah. over the place. Dangerously alive. They have the rubber bands on. That, okay. Breaking my heart. But what so, is it? Yeah, but how, is, do you, is, you know, you, how do you put them out of their misery? Okay. Uh, quickly. That's the key. You want yeah. to do it quickly. You can see right here, yeah. I've taken a, you just take a knife and just kind of jam it in there. Right. It kills them instantly. In high school science lab possible. class, that was called pithing. Right. Yeah, it's right at the base of the neck. Okay. Yeah, so short you're a doctor. You're a doctor. Yeah. This should not be a problem for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I like the animals. That's like... <laughs> I can eat them. It's a crustacean. Listen, if I can form a relationship with them first, it's hard to eat them afterwards. <laughs> so don't fall in love with your lobster. Okay, so okay. we got the lobster. We have these uh, other kinds of clams yeah. and stuff. So let's and it can be, it doesn't have to be chorizo. It no, can be any it can kind be of sausage. Andouille sausage. It yeah. can be sweet Italian sausage, spicy. Right. It can be anything you want. You don't yeah. even need the sausage, really, uh, if you want to do it. Only seafood. I think it's all about the you sausage. you got to have the sausage. I agree. But you're all the right. super chef. I imagine it's easy to get seaweed for you. How does us mere mortals get Any? <laughs> Any civilians can get uh, can get seaweed really easily. Just go to a fishmonger that right. carries a lot of different stuff, mm -hmm. especially if they have lobster. Mm -hmm. Lobsters come packed in it. Yeah. Ah, so throw that okay. right in there. Throw that right in there. It smells like the sea. It smells like the sea. And that's what, that's what does it. All right. So okay. you want to put in the things that take the longest to cook at the, bottom. Early at the bottom. Okay. So these go in. Chuck and Larry are going in the bottom. Yeah. They're, you know, first name. Chuck and Larry. You, know, you gave them a either. name and it I'm makes just... it even worse. Okay. And then put a little seaweed around them. All put right. Then seaweed around them. As we go up, we're going to yeah. take these big Look at those cherry guys. stone clams. Those are good looking clams. Yeah. Is yeah. there any, uh, really any key to picking good clams? Bigger just, the they want to be uh, closed. Yeah. Closed, big, heavy. Okay. You know, you, 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 if you throw this through a window, it should go straight through. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. And these other ones, these ones from the Pacific Northwest, they, this they, they, they oh, these are oysters. Great seeds up there. Oh yeah. my gosh, look at that. These oysters. Oh. Yeah, this is a good one right here. Those are beauties, huh? Look at all these little guys living on there. Yeah. Yeah. These are these are great. Like yeah. All right. So they're right. gonna go Pop in. Them in there. They're gonna go in. Okay. All right. So you load everything in there and load your sausage. In. Sausage. Right. Okay. We do some lime, lemons? Yeah, lemons? throw some lemons in there. Oh, just throw them in, right there. in there. All right, this is good. Russell's. I like this. So it is, it really dump is about once you get all the stuff, you just dump. Steam it. You right? throw it in. What do you got, some garlic? Yeah, here? throw that in. Got that? Throw what it kind in. of spices do we have here, Lauren? This is, these are fresh bay leaves, which are really important. Mm -hmm. Right. Get the Probably fresh. the most important, because they really these? have that kind of, that, that uh, mar maritime flavor And what did going. you just put in there? 
What is it? Oregano. oregano. These are the fresh bay leaves. Oregano. This is thyme. Yeah. Uh -huh. Very good. Um, we got it all. Some parsley. Parsley. Get some parsley, parsley in there. All right. Shrimp. 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 Head on shrimp. These guys. These are beautiful. Oh. Hey, Debbie. Oh. These are beautiful. I'm your friend, too. Oh, yeah. man. You're killing me. I just want to see it on the plate. All right. It's very good on the plate. Right. 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 And the uh, corn, does it go in? The corn's going to go. Really? You can boil it separately or you can do it right in here. Well, let's okay. put it in there. Why not? Like, all right. Now, what do you, what, what's juicy in there that can kind of cook it up? Or do you put a broth nothing, in there? Nothing. nothing. Everything's going to have all its right. own water. All right. And the seaweed should be really There soaked. you go. That's and all right. after, how much time, after how much time it turns into? Half an hour. Look at that. Only Ooh. a half an hour? <laughs> yeah. On high heat or on, on pretty low? Pretty high heat. It depends how big it is. All if right. you're cooking for... Ooh, Harry, be careful. If you're cooking for, what if were you about to say? If you're cooking for 20 people, which is possible, uh -huh. I mean, this is a good thing to make for 20 people because wow. yeah. it's easy. I got, you got it. it. Yep. No. Look at the Irish show. <sighs> Look at these, those. Look at these beauties. Yeah. Ooh. Looks better than an astronaut food we had earlier. Just yeah. Yeah. Be way better than that. <laughs> if the astronauts are watching now, they're going to be more oh, than man, a little jealous. Oh man, it jealous. smells oh, so gosh. good. You, smell that? you can smell yes. all the herbs. You can smell a little bit of the garlic, the nice. seaweed. Can you, Harry, can you lend me your ear? No, uh, uh, nothing. If you want to, at the end. These are really done. Um, it's kind of a. Hang on one second. To get these recipes, we have to get oh, yeah. this in the <laughs> website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Yeah. All right. All right good Martin job. Just throw some old bay on there if you want. There you go. Well done. Thank you so much. This is what's right. for Thanks breakfast, man. Have a great day. Your local news is next. That looks delicious.